right, welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Chad. Uh, Eddie has enlisted me to uh, basically do a tutorial on the, uh, and well, basically it's going to be somewhat of a uh, testing, a myth buster, I guess, maybe, to see if the uh, 245 battery upgrade, motor upgrade, actually makes the Babilis FX Clipper a better clipper. Looks like we can take this off, and surprise, surprise, we have screws. If you've never taken the FX Clipper apart, either have I, so let's do this together. All right, so shout out to Tune 45 because they actually gave me this nice power mat and a couple other things. They gave me this battery, and they gave me the motor. So we're going to be testing it out today. We're going to use the power mat to hold our screws. So toss it down because they're magnetic. Boom. Boom. Now we're not going to lose no screws, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have some screws on the back here. All right, whoa, look at that, huh? So I guess this thing comes off very simply. You got a screw here and, and here. Yes. So those are the only two probably left? I think so. Okay, so these are the top two bolt lengths. They're a little bit longer for the motor and the bottom two. So the bottom two are shorter and the top two are a little bit longer. So let's just keep these all separated. And the rest of these are all the other bolts that are pretty much all the same length so far. I, I don't think there'll be any more bolts to take off after once we, once we get this one out. There's the last one. It looks like the motor will come out along with the battery. So we got the case, it's empty and uh, we got the bracket, let's not lose that. That bracket went over the top here, just like that. So we'll set that aside and let's get rid of this motor. All right, charger bay. So that's uh, that's good. So we gotta keep that aside. And it looks like this is just going to disconnect with the push of a button there. So here's our old motor. And here's the old battery. So let's open the new ones. We got the new battery. Let's get the motor out. Looks like they give you some bolts. Like I said, the two top ones are longer, two bottom ones are shorter. Of course, green, 245 style. There's a little on off switch here. So I'm gonna make sure that it's all the same. So based on what I see here, it looks like the motor plugs into the top here. And now I'm gonna come back over here off of the old battery and I'm gonna remove this cable because it looks like we're gonna need it. So I got the cable and I'm gonna plug that into the back of the new battery. Now I got my charger and it looks like everything is pretty much ready to go back in. So we'll grab this to begin with. I'm just gonna situate this in here, see if I can get this to seat down. Right down there. Everything appears to line up pretty good, except for this. I'm gonna try to slide this kind of underneath. And that was the that was the trick right there. Slide that kind of underneath and it looks like this whole thing will seat down in there. Now we're in good shape. Our stuff back on. We know that the smaller bolts went to the bottom. I'm not going to make it too tight till I get these top bolts in here. Okay, so we got all the screws tight. We're going to go ahead, we're going to put this top lid back on. See if it fits. It looks like it does. Um, now we're going to go ahead, we're going to throw in these four bolts. You got one, two, three, four. They're all the same size. So we'll throw these in real quick. Okay, guys, no seams. Everything's looking good. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to slide this cover back on so that starts to look a little more normal and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this back on i'm just going to tighten these bolts and really this thing should work right now so let's test it hey we got life beautiful so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to button this rest of the way down all right it's 100 done it's working make sure it would it would charge i wanted to plug it in and it looks like it's charging fine so hopefully there's enough battery to give it a try I found a client that's got the most bulk of any client yeah. I've ever seen. His hair is very thick. I know it's a little deceiving, but uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see. What? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I think you're lying, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Seems like it's working. Yeah. 
Feels plenty powerful. Yeah, and you got to remember, this is not even charged, although it's not blinking, so it's not indicating that it needs to be charged, but uh, this is just out of the box how it's coming, and it's, it's clearly working fine. Shout out to 245. I appreciate you guys for keeping me in the loop on the latest and greatest products, and this is obviously a good one. Uh, it's kind of funny that a company doesn't make their products good enough in the first place, but thank God that we got people like 245 who are coming through and making them better. Catch you guys in the next one. This is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. Eddie Barber, and I'm out of here. Peace. One of the concerns that I had was whether or not the battery would actually report accurately, and I'm happy to say that it actually does. It still blinks red when it's about to die. It does not blink when you plug it in, and this is a really powerful clipper. This has improved the motor significantly. And at first I thought maybe it would get too hot, but actually it doesn't get much hotter than that initial uh, first burst of heat. So all in all, uh, this is definitely a win-win if you got one of these FXs. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.